Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to auto generate WordPress post using OpenAI. If you want to create WordPress post with unique content every time, so you can go for this automation. In this automation that we will be creating using Pabli Connect, you can take the titles from Google Sheet, generate the content using OpenAI and then directly post that content to WordPress as a post. So in this automation our trigger will be adding new row in Google Sheet. Our first action step will be to generate content using OpenAI. AI and our last action step will be to create a post in WordPress. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video we will learn how can you generate new and unique content every time for your WordPress post using the topics that you have written over here in your Google Sheet and post it directly to WordPress using OpenAI. So we will be creating this automation with the help of Pabli. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. We are going to use Pabli Connect to create the automation. Click on access now and then we will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as create WordPress post with open AI using titles from Google Sheet. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. In this workflow, you will see a trigger and an action window. Now, before we proceed with the workflow, make sure that you have prepared a Google Sheet where you will be writing the topic and the prompt of what you want to do with the title with that you want to command the OpenAI, your WordPress account where we can check the newly created article, essay or any piece of writing, the generated content and OpenAI so it makes it easier for Pabli Connect to connect. Now let us understand the functioning of trigger and action. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. So the trigger application is going to be the one where the first event will take place. That is entering the information, the title and the prompt in your Google Sheet. So our trigger will be Google Sheet which will trigger OpenAI to generate content using that command and title. And then our another action application will come into action. That is WordPress where the new post will be created. So let us quickly choose our trigger application as Google Sheets. And the event in Google Sheet will be the new or updated spreadsheet row, which means that either the already existing row is updated or a new row is updated over here. For example, I'm going to write over here, happiness is the title and prompt is an essay on. Okay, this is the prompt. So I've done this. I've given the title and the prompt also. Now Pabli Connect provides us with a webhook URL that you are going to use to connect your trigger application and your Pabli Connect in such a way that this entered information is fetched in this workflow as a response. So let us learn how to use Pabli Connect webhook URL. First of all, go to extensions in your menu bar and then go to add-ons, get add-ons and over here you will search for Pabli Connect webhooks. That is the name of the add-on that you will be using. Type over here Pabli Connect webhooks. And this one is the one that you need to install like I have already installed it. So once you're done with the installation, close this and then it will appear in your extensions menu itself. Come here to Pabli Connect webhooks, initial setup and here you will enter the webhook URL. So let us quickly copy it from here. And now you're supposed to enter the webhook URL in this section and the trigger column is B, which is the last updated column, which means that whenever this webhook URL will fetch information from this Google sheet, it will cover the information coming till which column? Column number B. So let us enter over here, column B, submit the details, which is done successfully. And then you send a test request. And that is actually sending this data to your response, which will arrive right here. And here it is. See, happiness is the title and the name of the spreadsheet, the sheet name and the prompt also is here. So now we are going to use this information to generate content using OpenAI. Choose your action application as OpenAI and the event will be to generate content. See, the action event is chat GPT, advanced content, image and so many things are there that you can do using OpenAI. We are now going to create content. So click on connect. Add new connection and now you need a token to connect your OpenAI with your Pabli Connect. So what you're going to do is for the token is go to this OpenAI API keys page. Log in with your account. It's already here logged in. Click on create new key and now I'm going to write the name of the key as WordPress post. Okay, create a secret key and here I will copy. Come down here back and paste it and save. Now this is done. Connection is established and the select AI model, prompt, max token and sampling type, all these things are given over here. Now you need to understand that first you will go back over here 
and come to playground this is where you can manually create content using open ai without giving any title you just type over here and it will give you the content right here in this playground all right so here in the right side pa panel you will see there are so many options that you can set or format your text with and these are the settings that you will be needing over here in your pavli connect as well a uh, first of all select ai model is the model that you want to use to generate content these are all the ai engines provided by open ai to you we are going to use text davinci 003 that is the most used one and in the prompt section you will give the command to open ai that what content you need to be generated so here we will choose essay on give a space and write happiness so this is the complete command as essay on happiness now it will generate an essay the and the title will be happiness we come to max tokens tokens you can take as number of words for that specific writing piece that you want so tokens are that you are having considerable amount of tokens in your open ai account and open ai actually takes that number of token from your already existing token to create content over here you can see that you can enter the maximum number of tokens over here the maximum limit is 2048 and if you leave this empty because it's not a required field then the default value is set to 256 So let's say we are going it for three hundred. So our essay will be for three hundred words. Sampling type. Sampling type are two: nucleus sampling and temperature sampling. We are going to set it to temperature sampling only. Now sampling value, presence penalty, all these things are not required. You can set these if you want to, and for that you can learn it from here in your OpenAI application page. And then if you even leave this empty, then they have their own default value. So no need to. worry about a generalized value will be set once you do all the important settings click on save and send test request and then your content will be generated and here we have the response so the response is having first of all the created id over here in the first place what is the object it says text completion we have the complete essay over here okay and it goes down you can scroll it down 300 word essay is here so this essay is supposed to be posted to your wordpress see tokens taken this and the total tokens is 304 all right so all this is done close this window and now we will add our last action step that is going to be wordpress the destination where this content that is newly generated by us will be posted so type wordpress as your action application and choose the event as create a post click on connect add new connection and then you will need the username password and the base url of your wordpress account so you have to enter your credentials over here this is my username and password i will enter and this is my password the base url is actually the url of your wordpress account you just have to copy that url till wp3 and do not include admin or login if it consists any one of them so when you come here to your wordpress account start copying it from https go to wp3 exclude the last slash copy this and we are leaving this admin part that we have and paste it right here all right this is the base url that you should enter click on save and it will be connected since the accounts are connected so now open ai generated content can be sent to wordpress to create a post by pavli connect now they are connected select the post type the post title will be taken from google sheets that is happiness All right, content can be mapped from Open AI over here like this, and slug excerpt publish that yes you want to publish you don't want to keep it for draft. Uh, any other information that is not required can be left empty because they are having their own default values. And if they are required, then make sure that you fill them. Otherwise, the workflow won't run. Now featured media ID over here. So there is no media ID that you are going to enter. So switch to map and leave it blank. so we won't be having any picture along with our essay the format is going to be standard only and you can change the author id that i am going to keep it to the username all right now this is done no password no date nothing is there and since they are not required no need to worry about them just click on save and send test request and it will be created and you will receive the response and here we have the response the id of the generated content the link that can take you to that specific page where the generated content will be visible and all of these are here all right which means that our workflow has been a success you can check for errors if there was any error then the response wouldn't have been correct you go to your wordpress account refresh it once and here you will see happiness the topmost title the newly created one the author this is the author we set to all right and if you open it then you can see the content is the same that we generated using open ai this is the one a 300 word article 
So, took the title from Google Sheet along with the prompt, generated the content using OpenAI and then created a post. This was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to to our channel. Thank you.